Hello. Hello, chat. Good morning. Hello, everybody. My name is Albino Vivo. Today we're gonna play Slayers by Act 23 for now. Um, I will not be doing heart. If I'm gonna just clear these acts, I'm going to not be doing heart. I'm just gonna focus on clearing them, because it's not necessary. If we're gonna climb ascensions, we're not gonna do hard. I've decided. Anyways. Hello, why are you this reading? Also, for now, I'll be on Twitch. Uh, because Twitch is more... Specialized for streaming, whereas YouTube is not. The way clips work, the way recordings work, VODs work, everything on Twitch is better. Um, integrations, Twitch chat, gambling. Gambling, I can't let. I can't just not have gambling. We can't just not have gambling. Truffle is an extension you can get for gambling on YouTube, but it's not. It's not inherently on YouTube. Viewers need to install Truffle themselves, I'm pretty sure. Um, it adds unnecessary steps for a basic functionality. So I'm gonna stick to Twitch for the time being. What were you streaming on YouTube anyways? I must have missed an explanation. Uh, there is not really an explanation. The only thing is that uh, I have the opportunity to stream on, to, on, to, on YouTube and I felt like I should give it a try before like... Yeah, just give it a try and see what it's like. Um, I think... I will have it as like a, a, a option and if it ever gets better than Twitch, I will switch to YouTube. But for the time being, I will stick to Twitch, I think. Can you stream with both at the same time? I can, but then I lose my Twitch partner. Then I'm breaking my partner contract, which I don't necessarily want to do. Anyways. Gaming. Embark. Transform to card. Upgrade a card. Hmm. Boss. First boss is Hex. Ah, oh, I like Hex. We're gonna need some damage. Um, we're gonna need some damage. Ball lightning would go a long way right now. Want to make a gamble through a chatbot on YouTube because it's worse than Twitch. Because Twitch is better. Um, I don't want to take it in. Well, actually, I, I can't afford it because we don't want to be full health when we go in here anyways. But, uh, yeah. I, I have such a bad experience with transforming two cards. I mean, I, they could become super good. Like, we could get fucking... Oh, we get a, a core surge and cognitive bias. Nice. Or, we get the chaos and stack. Which is like... Why? A uh, boss relic swap? I think here, a boss relic swap could be cool. Um, only issue is that, is that if it's a dog shit one, we're kinda fucked. But I rarely do this, we can try it out. I rarely try this. It's just that if I get frozen core... Or insert or act one, then that's really bad. Then I'm playing at a big insert or act one is so bad. It's such shit. You want insert or act 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 two or three. You don't want it now. Uh, frozen core also not good. Um, so those two I definitely don't want. And then uh, nuclear nuclear battery would be would be could be good. Potentially, but it's not very. It's like uh, you kind of want to. You want to have the lightning at, at, in front uh, instead of having the plasma in front, and because that's an issue, having to cycle those orbs to dual cast lightning. Because being able to dual cast lightning right off the bat is very very strong. But if we get like a Pandora's box, oh no. wow, that's that, like, that's good. Mars to dual, take it for tier one. If you get Astrolabe, amazing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I still miss a gym. We could also, we could also get Cursed Key, we could get, like, Ectoplasm, we can get Sosu. There's so many bad options, there's so few good, there's so few good ones. 
Uh, Transformers 2 cards also YOLO. Like, so we could go for we could go for pussy option here and just get an upgrade, but... Yeah, so now we kind of ruined our run. Now our run is ruined. So I'm going to abandon it. And just do uh, not that that. That is so bad. That is so bad. Okay. Lose all money removed room two cards is potent. Like I'm not going to do it again because I have a mod install that gives me four options every time, and I'm not going to save scum boss relics because that's just that's just stupid. Um. Run the common relic is nice. This is very efficient gold usage. 100 gold for two cards is very, very good. What are the modifiers? Um, 21 is double act two boss. 22 is double act one boss. And 23, it's just more bosses, basically. We get trip, we get every boss in act three, though. Um, I think, I think, I mean, I, I like having gold. I really do, but removing two cards right off the bat is just strong. What do we have here? Because then we can just farm card rewards and uh, avoid shops if possible. This path here looks nice. Three encounters. And then we can go here. Um, this is, yeah, this is a nice path. I like this path a lot. I think I'll remove two cards. So let me do a strike and a defend. This is very nice. You could, like, getting rid of two strikes is very, very scary. Um, because... Am I forced to take damage here? Yeah, because I got weak and I couldn't kill him. I want to check something, actually. I just want to test something. This is not like a save scheme. I, I just want to test something. Did that actually matter? 12 and 13. Did it actually... If I hit him instead? Yeah. Okay, I did not know that. Just want to test it. Just wanted to test. Cold Snap is very good early, I'll take that. We do take the idol, of course, now we can get some money back. At this point, I feel confident in just take, taking the damage, honestly. 24 is a lot, though. I think I'll just take max HP. I think this is a max HP moment. I, th I don't think take taking 24 in Act 1 is actually ever, ever worth. It's so much fucking damage. I'll lose 7. We don't lose current health from that. Uh, yeah, we don't want to take damage here. We're good. Alright. Also a very good card. Who's the boss? It is uh, Slime, so Doom and Gloom definitely good for that. Not good now, not good now. Good now, it's damage. Okay, so now we have good damage. We are block- no, we need the block card now. We kinda need the block card. I, I will go for more, uh, more event, more of this shit. Okay. Doom and Gloom defend? Then they might kill him with- I, I, we just have to hope- it's, it's, a, it's a coin flip here. It's a coin flip here where we take uh, 6 damage. Like, obviously I want to pop this. Now, I could defend for 5. 
and take 7 damage. Or guarantee him dead. Why are you taking X3 Super Bosses? Because that's 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 the ascension. That's what it is. Um I can block. Hope that it hits him. Or play safe and take twelve. Play safe, take for twelve. Play YOLO, take seven. Yeah, it's just never. It just never fucking works out, does it? And now we got good block cards. Uh, reinforced or leap? Hmm. What a new. I like leap. But this is like, well, yeah. if you do draw this card, it's like, well, now you have a good block. If you draw this, this is more energy efficient, of course. But you can block more with this. Leap is, is uh, yeah, like a leap. 100%. Oh my god. We could take a regret and go to a shop. But then we're on a path that I don't like as much. Or, well, it's okay. It's okay. But here we can go for more. We can go for more elites if we take a left path. There are no shops there. If we go shop, we can take a buyer a relic. Or we could gain gold and just go elites anyways. Things I like this path is bonfire, elite, bonfire, treasure. Well, actually, two encounters. No, this path is kind of shit, actually. There's too many encounters. If there, was, if there was like a question mark or two here, sure, I could go for it. But this many back-to-back -back encounters, I don't feel like I have like in a position to take. Kind of. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Good day, Mr. Co. Gaming? Gaming. Gaming. Thank you for the sub, uh, Lightning Patera. It's a lot of money. Have you heard of the high elves? Ha, uck, ouch. I'm too little to safe to take the money. I'll take it. And now we upgrade uh, Doom and Gloom, maybe? It's very good to have this. It's very good to have this, too. Like, Doom and Glue needs the upgrade either way. Leap to live. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'd, I would want this anyways. I would want it anyways. My lord, we got pellets. We can, we can actually buy these two as well. We can buy two. We can buy two of those fucks. We got a remove regret though. No, we can't actually buy two. If anything, I mean, this is nice. For the sustain. But I think pellet. Pellet is not good now, but later pellet is so important. If we get the cognitive bias, it will be a free, free focus. It's so good. It's so good. I can't miss. If I see pellets, I, I'm, 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 like, I'm, I'm, I'm obliged. I have to buy them. I have to. I have to buy them. I cannot not buy them. 
A creature. Thank you for the gifts. For the 10 gift subs, man. God damn. Pellets is winning. Yeah, 100%. 100%. It's, it's, it's just that good. Um, if anything, then, we want a potion going forward. Because uh, we're going to go into an elite now, and having an, a, po a potion will be, will be nice. We have dark, which is very potent, but uh, I think a uh, potion is well worth my one right now. I'll take that, and then we go elite. Okay. You know, we could just pop the potion right now. Let these dar or dark orbs grow a bit. Just not wake up. Okay, good. Now we do in gloom and then we uh, cold snap maybe. Or do we want this to grow more? We could normal strike. But having some frost would be neat, I think. Uh, we can leave this for a dual cast next turn and do a lot of damage. I don't think having three dark orbs is necessary. Having two more block to help me live, uh, we'll probably, we might get leap next turn and I hope we do. In case we don't, I want to have this cold snap up. Yeah, we get leap. I'm dual cast this for a million damage. Block. Fourteen. Oh, he's dead. Okay, that was a nice fight. Cultist. FDL, I think I will take. I couldn't sleep tonight cause my dumbass drank soda. Either way, good morning, Albino <laughs> and you too. Ultimate chat. kite, I got 100 bits. Swallow before bed. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake that. Um, yeah, for FTL, I think it's a good uh, good pick here. Just to p p hit some more. Um, it's free damage for Act 1. Since we have double boss Act 1, I, I have to take this, basically. Um, but sure we can. Well, let's do this as well. We're not doing heart anyways. We're, no we're not doing heart because we're doing 823. For now, I will... Uh, if I see an opportunity for heart later, I will go for it, but... For the time being, not really. Uh, do we want to do, do... Do we want to doom in front or in the back? We're obviously gonna pop this. I think I want to doom in front so it will we'll actually do something. Do we take two damage here or do we block? Two damage. Two damage. I think, I think two damage is fine. Ultimate Kai, thank you for the one bits. was grinding some marks on Isaac, so it was well worth it. On the grind, We will not have good block next turn. So I might want to prioritize doing damage here. Not the dual cast, I'll, I'll pop this. We'll take two. Okay. Turns out it was fine, but... One dual cast now and they're both... Uh, he's dead and the other will get fucked. Could have been better, but it was okay. Here, maybe white noise. Sunder is also good. But I feel like offensively we are fine. We have Doom and Gloom, we have uh, Cold Snap, FTL, so maybe a white noise. Since we have this, it could be a good enabler for uh, pellets. 
Because th this card actually plays two of the conditions. It plays the skill and it plays the power. And then we put plays an attack and we get all debuffs gone. It will be nice. It will be nice. Inshallah. Epic pellets. Not that this uh, power is gonna do much, but whatever. Roasted sweet potato, 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 roasted Stranger sweet thank potato, you for that. God, roasted it. sweet potato, roasted sweet potato, roasted sweet potato. Dog. Um, maybe I go for the ice. Yeah, against money this whacked on bosses. Go for the ice is good. Uh, now I want to upgrade white noise maybe. Or actually sap or dual cast. This you only use one time. This you use over and over again. It's more value to upgrade dual cast or sap. Um. Is it slime? Slime it first. You want to have good damage. Definitely want more damage. Since we know we're going up against slime, at least I will get this. Found peace pipe. Nice. I can remove cards at sites. Um, if we find the relic, will we get more by killing this elite? Will it actually be any rewards? It is just stupid then. Yeah, then I will just leave. I got the relic. See ya. Sure. Come so believers, where are you? Also, Albino, pick up the phone. Eh? Oops. I don't want to take 11 here. I need to make sure he dies. Walking this is 8. Uh, do I have any? I can draw maybe a zero cost here. Yes. Okay, good. Alright. Scheme or double energy? Recursion is nice. When we have dark in the pool, recursion is good to have. In general. Uh, for now I will upgrade. And it's Slime King. I want Cold Snap upgraded. More damage. Or dual cast. Or recursion. Dual, maybe. Yeah. Mm. 
And that's the question. Do we pop a strength potion against this dude? Do I pop this? Or maybe color this? Let's try this out. Get one strength. Nice. I think we should. We should definitely be able to pop his uh, split him here, but. Not a good uh, fucking uh, split, but whatever. I will not conform. Do we need this? No. We have 12 block. Jesus Christ, Neko. Only four damage on him, it will split him, but do we want to split him? I can also the cold snap twice. But then uh I have a good idea. Strike, strike. Cold snap. Recursion twenty-four. Now he is super low. No attack cards. That is sad. Uh, maybe we just go for block here. I'm spending my money well by supporting my favorite content creator. No need to pay rent or bills. WWW. Thank you for the Hit the wrong guy. Well, it takes while. That's not the end of the world. Hopefully, next boss is uh, extra ghost, so I will not be fucked. I'm down to just exit this now, because this is one. Uh, we can also uh, just fuck this guy. Goodbye. Boss number two. Question is, do we need strength for this? Uh, probably. Seven fifteen and yeah, we will make him go dog form. Okay. I need to defend now, but. Uh so Albino, you have any tips for binding of Isaac? Cause I'm still new to the game as I always die before getting to mother's heart. Cause I suck or maybe skill issue l Skillish, I think. skill issue. Hmm. 
Okay. I think if we weaken in next turn as well, it will be... We will negate more than 4 damage, so... Yeah, this went well. Do you want to cast now? See ya. Alright, we, we actually we actually managed Act 1. Great. Uh, these cards are not great. I was hoping for a Cognitive Bias. But the buffer, I guess, all three is okay. Uh, all for one, maybe not. Because um, you don't have much zero costs. If we if we, if we we get Recursion, maybe this will be good. If we upgrade, if we upgrade Recursion and Sap and all that shit, this could be good. We also go for the Ice. We can make White Noise, but that's, I, I don't know. Didn't realize Recursion kept Dark Stacks. Yeah, that's the only reason Recursion is good. If Recursion didn't do that, it would be a bad card. If it was 18 to 5, I'd have to do one more boss. So it's, uh, yep. Yep, yep. <coughs> I think, uh, maybe... Buffer. But it, ne it needs, it, the issue is it needs to upgrade. Is that I'm a console player, this so does not need to upgrade. This is just a card you don't have to upgrade. So I can instead upgrade the other things and make this better through that. I will take this. And we get Dripper. Uh, we don't have much... Ma well, out of these relics, Dripper is the best one. So I'll take Dripper. Not even gonna think about that one. The other ones were trash. Believers win for now. First boss is uh, that dog. Uh, we want artifact. Well, actually, we have we have orange pe orange pellets, so we can avoid this boss. Is like well, he need you need a wheat for him, and you need uh, to be rid of get rid of debuffs. We can do both with this. So I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. Uh, we want many rest sites. Double shop is a bit stupid, but we want to do these like question marks here. I think shop rest. You will not do much elites then. Like I have to delete I have to choose rest or elite. Here we get kinda of both, but there's also like hard encounter and then Now we get two rests here. Here we can get three for example. Basically swapping I can do one elite here I guess. Uh, but no shops then. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Let me try to for one more bits. Uh, this pass. Uh, we get two rest and elite. Elite for rest, elite rest. But we burn all our eastern encounters to AC all the, immediately. We do that here too, I guess. But we get two. Well, it's kind of the same. It's kind of the same, except here we get at least to try a shop. We have 227, so we might we should be able to buy some cool stuff. Uh, other than that, this path uh, gets us an elite. I mean, there could be a shop here, so we could yolo it here and maybe get a shop, but a shop would be big now. Or we could just save for Act 3. This final part here is kind of shit, though. But this is not much, it's not much better here. It's basically the same. We either choose... Uh, we choose to get well, only two encounters here, actually. Yeah. Bonfire or elite? But if we do elite, we get two shops in a row. And then we do get a bonfire, but... Now we can do one more elite if you want. Or we can do one more bonfire. <laughs> I think maybe this path... This one is not very versatile in the way we go. 
it will it's all of the sets from the beginning where we go if we start this path but if we do this path we have some options so i will take this i will take this one okay well drawing this first is always epic uh, two damage or deal 10 to this dog in the middle I want to deal this damage. Or we hit him with, with 3. It's not a big difference in damage. Okay. Boom. Nice. Take a little bit, but uh, we will uh, we will be fine. Next turn, I should be able to cycle this orb. I hope. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Beam cell could be good. Hologram, I think, though, because this we can handle beam cell. I'll have to take hologram. Tiger now, we get money. Ooh, but we have dripper though. We have dripper. Um Damn. With Dripper this is scary. How fucking greedy am I gonna be? the money man almost a year at one point you'll outgo me go on gamer show me your moves mr. game and swap That went pretty well. Alright. Went pretty well, went pretty well. Now maybe the beam cell, the game insists on me getting a beam cell. For real. I'll get it. Now let's see. Tori on a copter could be big here. Uh, Morton Egg also nice. Uh, we need this for heals. Polt, thank you for the sub, man. <laughs> now with Ripper, this is like almost like a no-brainer. No uh, question now is do we buy Molten Egg mid act 2 or do we buy potions and just fuck off? I think I want to buy a block potion and a... Uh, and duplication. Or block and, block and focus could also be good. Is there any card we would like to duplicate in this case? We don't have any like one strong upgraded card, so maybe not. Good evening, Borog. See you money for seconds. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. 
Uh, we can skip the elite and save money for next drop, yeah. Let's do that. Instead, I will, I will want to reroll this. Uh, and also, now upgrade maybe one of the zero costs. To make them actual zero cost. In that case, uh, maybe... Let's go free ice for more weekend, or actually just recursion to actually get it back. I will smith recursion. Okay, there's Chemical X, there's Omomori, powerful. Skim is good now. Omomori Skim would be good. I think. Definitely want a Skim. Now we can take a free bell curse if we get it, and we can also just like take some more relics. Either way, avoiding curses is nice. Don't need this. We're not gonna be seeing a shop for a while. Yeah, I, I think I'll just buy this, buy skim, and then um, honestly, this would be nice. I wish we could buy this, but explosion would be nice. Carter would be nice. I buy explosive. Now we upgrade. Um, not sap, not sap. I want to upgrade this. Now, do we do an elite with twenty-five health in this, or do we go there and and like remove a card? I kind of want to go this path, but I feel like it's too risky. We also lose out on a on a rest. Here we get three chest question marks also instead of only two. Or we get a bonfire instead though. Let's hope it's not big of stabbing. This will uh, work nicely with. Ah well we got it. Yeah great. A, a great. This needs to be up. Do we dual cast this now? No. Unfortunate Ross right now. Oh, that sucks. I don't have energy. F I, I miscalculated. I miscalculated my fucking energy. I'll try. I'll, I'll, I'll listen. I didn't think. I didn't think. Now I lost the dark. What the fuck am I doing, dude? Chat. Bear with me. Bear with me. I forgot. I need dark. Because we have a perfect turn here. I just gotta play it right. Thank you. 
And we're set up for a kill here if we just cycle this up once. Never mind, we got him. Didn't I? Bottle fl Really? Really? Bottle flame of all things. Compile is good now. I guess I'll start with FTL then. Set up my shuriken. Why not? I drew my all for one and my hologram. That's great. matter does it I'd love to instantly draw my alpha one it's kind of that's kind of the issue with that card man it's just never what at the right fucking time Scrape is nah. Nah. I just threw out the fire potion, by the way. We have a rick shotgun, that's nice. Good. Perfect block. Great. Bronze, good. Um, we could transition into some claw shenanigans, but my deck is fat as fuck, dude. Do we try claw mode? Claw mode? Since we have shuriken and shit. I'll try it out. See how it goes. Remove a card. Yes. I think we remove a strike in this case. Okay. Uh, I would have liked to, I would love, love to buy this. Pendy also would have been nice. But I wouldn't be able to afford it in this anyways. Don't they potions? Uh, FTL maybe? FTL for me is a nice way of scaling. I think we will die to this boss. No matter what. No matter what, we'll probably die. We might be good though, but we'll see. Order.
Good. Do we have another powers? No, we don't. We want to save power for when he uh, does this funny. This will hit him and hit him for a lot. We can little them both. Fuck it. I get six block anyway, so. Two health, great. And now we do not have any way to... Uh, You're scaling nicely though, we might be able to kill him next turn. No. Okay, well I live for now. Let's see what the boss is. The champ. This is bad news. I got my strength up. And chill. I am incredibly lucky. I want to scale my strength up a lot before he goes uh, maggot mode. Um, so I think I will just. No, I don't want. I, I don't want to use beam cell first. So I don't want. I, I don't want him to be vulnerable. I want him to not take much damage while I scale up my strength. Because in his initial phase, where he's just like not enraged, he's not too. He's not much to worry about. I can generally block everything he does, and it's not a huge deal. Uh, but when he hits a certain point, I need to be scaled the fuck up. And right now, I'm not that. Uh, so we definitely want to just like take it easy here and just survive. Uh, I could um, dual cast this for block. I can recursion it for one and then defend. And then we should be fine. And again, now we just want to like use the claw as much as you can like this. Uh, pop a go for the ice. And then even maybe just call it a day. Or keep going. No, I think we're good. We do want to keep scaling the dark as well. One more strength, good. Could keep doing damage to him, but we're reaching the limit of like I wanna I wanna play my claws a bit more first. At this point we need more block. Uh, 27, 12, 12 should be good.
Just keep him, keep him, keep him a dog while we uh, cycle our orbs and shit. Claw, claw. They're hitting a bit now. Uh, we could pop this and just do it now. We only have 36 on this. Uh, I don't know. This would let us to play a bunch of shit right now and it gets strong. Also, it would allow us to keep this. Yeah, let's do it. What is the clothing now? 19 damage, that's pretty good. If I recursion now, I will trigger him. Uh, we might want to wait a bit. And wait. I don't want to mold him quite yet. He has Thwarten armor. We should be able to use our claw one more time. He's gonna debuff me now. He doesn't scale much for now. We'll wait. We'll see. We'll just live for now with dark. Or charge it the fuck up. And try to like weaken him. Are you used to this? We'll just wait. I could 19 19, but that will trigger him, so we wait for the dark. Wait for this debuffs to wear off. This is now dual cast 100 damage. I will draw this. So we can draw uh, maybe a uh, leap next turn. Now you're forcing my hand here. 33. Well, now I kind of fucked myself, because we... Well, I can get... Do a decent damage with this. Get some armor. Weaken him. That. Walk on more. Strike. Are we dead? Not quite. Oh. <laughs> Fuck! I wanted to scale more. I wanted to scale more. I wanted to scale a little bit more. I got greedy, though. I don't think I had to scale. I had a good opportunity, but I skipped it. Yeah, I think I hate the potion too. Fuck me. Quick maths. God fucking damn it. This shit is hard. Okay. I'll reroll them. Fuck it. Oh, time to go this one. Hmm, two leads after that, sure. Thank you. I refuse to take more damage. I guess I will take more damage. Well, it was the same idea either way. He's dead now. Uh, yeah. Again, sweep me. This is, I'm not getting the best fucking options here, man. Right now, this will not do anything for me. It's not good. But uh, I, I guess it's the only thing that will translate to being good later, so whatever. Exhausted. I 
Wow. I love this Ross. Love them. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. This is not nice. I give up. I give up. Fuck it then. Okay. Hidden elite, man. Actually, hidden elite. I give up. I love how these rewards are like, well, if you p if you pick them, your run is unplayable. But like, so on 820, it wouldn't matter too much. On 820, it wouldn't be big deal. 823, it's too important. It's too important. Um, okay, to remove two I can go with, but what do we have? We have shops right at the start. So, um, maybe it gets gold instead. Maybe it gets gold instead. This question mark shop, question mark shop. We can just go uh, Giga Shop moment. Maybe here we'll get some uh, get, get gold and get cursed uh, uh, stuff. Maybe. Maybe. It is possible. Ball lightning. Not quite. Out of these, uh, maybe Kulad. Generally good card to have. Thank you. But do I want to remove anything right now? I strike. With, uh, okay, we're gonna. I'm, an, I'm greedy now. Rip. Orrery would be very nice. I think to beat Act 1 here, an Orrery would be pretty pug. If nothing else, you can save skim the fucking thing. We got Electro. Okay. You want that? Question is, do we want a turbo? I think a turbo is nice. Do we want Sunder? We have turbo and uh, Sunder could be playable. Who's the boss? This? Sunder? Yes, I think. And this I will just not play or not take. Overall, that was very good. Uh, but what about block now? Do we have block? No, so I can buy a leap as well. And now we have a pretty, we have a solid, very solid Act 1 deck. We get two upgraded strikes because of course that's our, that's the two ones. That's the two ones that upgrade this, of course. Of course. Of course, man. Come 
file now? No. Overclock now. Go for the ice now. I will skip. Now we want upgrades now. To be fair. We do want we want like a lot of upgrades. We want uh, this, we want this, we want this, we want this, and this and this. Uh, I want upgrades now. So I'm gonna go get that. First and foremost, this is a burn without upgrade. <coughs> Next we will probably draw turbo and electrodynamics. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. We may place under later. We'll take some damage here, I guess. Should be able to lethal now. Healing source, uh, dog cards, see yeah. ya. Now maybe uh, leap. But actually against his bosses I just want damage. I just want damage. Because now I will uh, do two elites, XD. Because I can. Never mind. Five damage. That was so nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, bronze skills. Cleanest pi pillars fight ever. Took what, five damage? Mask blessing. The question is, do we want to go for the ice? Do we want cold snap? Do we want double energy? We have one frost gen that is this. Um, we have ball lightning, so I don't think we will have ball lightning and cold snap. Uh, instead, uh, I think maybe skip. No, we have ball lightning. I, I, I usually don't like taking ball lightning and cold snap. I have one of them and that's it. And we have electrodynamics, so it's like, it's good. <laughs> Red demon, but suck with that ice. Ice is good against demon and Valava Gulen. And also uh, some of the elite bo or bosses here. Most of the bosses here will get uh, owned by this, so I'm sure. Good morning, Mr. Is. Albingus. How is the wife? Chill is good. How are the kids? I like chill. I we got this good. You fucking dog. We'll take some damage here, but next time maybe we can kill. Yeah. Yeah. That portion was so unnecessary. I will actually scam my way back. I will scam that portion back. I didn't need to use it. <laughs> because of you, thank you for the tier 1. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't need that portion at all. Sorry. Whoops. Almost a year with you. Dick 8 damage. Wow. That's acceptable. So cool. You're cool. Scam gaming. Yeah, sure. One well, Mori, okay. Meteor Strike? I don't think I will play Meteor Strike. I mean, I have I have Turbo. I have Turbo. 
So, with Turbo in mind, I Meteor Strike is doable. Sunder also. It has some good synergies here, but... Uh... No, maybe. Maybe no. Until I get Turbo, it is a burden. And I only have Sunder anyways. Memory is good. Recycle is a shit card, but it does have a use sometimes. But I will not use it. And we get heal for the boss. Very good. And the future bosses too. How much? 25? So we got back our health. And more health on future bosses. Now, do we heal for this boss? Do we heal 25 for 20 health? Or do we just upgrade now, since we have Pentagraph anyways? I'm gonna agree this, because we are playing this scuffed fucking difficulty. No heal. Now I will upgrade this. Instead of healing I do that. We got 30 health for the boss, that's actually decent. Next turn we will get Sunder. I don't know if it will be enough, but... As long as we can split them, we should be fine. 32 damage. Yeah. If yeah, we got the split and we have Electrodynamics, I'm not too worried about this. Not too worried. This should be fine. Could've avoided the damage here actually, I'm stupid. That was dumb. That was really dumb, I took like way too much. Yeah, that was really stupid. I took stupid damage there, but um... Okay. Hexagost, okay. We healed again! Okay, it works against every boss. That is good. Now I have to play Thunder, I think. Just do that 30, do that damage or 20, 10 damage here. 10 and spawn and lightning. Is that more value than using this? I don't know. Now I will deal 10 damage, channel the lightning for later, and also block per perfectly. Yeah. Thank you. 
100. Dual casting now will be done. Atlas overblock or uh, actually. for now, but he took a lot of damage. Okay. I made it to Act 1. Holy shit. We got Bias Cognition as a no-brainer. Take it. We have Bello Amori. Take, I think. Bello Amori. Is that just too good or not? When I have this, I think I will take Bell. Potion belt. Oh, we get fucking ice cream. Oh. 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 Ice cream potion. This is this is this is this is nice. This is nice. We have Himil ticket as well. Oh, we are well off right now, dude. We are well off right now, dude. Okay. We have mad sustain. We have fucking meal ticket and we have pantograph. We have so good fucking sustain right now, dude. I think it will take this path here with like some shop, healing, we have money, question marks, we have memory, rest, elite, rest, chest, rest, shop, then drop, elite, counter. Yeah, I think this can, this path here is pretty nice considering what we have. We also have smiley mask for, for really cheap card removals. We do want to hit those shops, man. We do want to hit both of those shops to get like really cheap card removals. 100%. This first. Yeah, I think this is a uh, pop uh, biased moment. And we keep the energy epic. Wrong enemy. I think we should be good though. Yeah. Okay. Having heat sinks now would actually be kind of nice. If we do get more powers, heat sinks is pretty pug. But um, the awakened one will kind of say goodbye, bye bye to that. Beam cell plus is good since we have Sunder. I think I will take it. Thank you. Since we have Sunder, I think it's one hundred percent value. Goodbye, I think. Two blessings. Defrag plus. Thank you so very much. Healing, easy. We can dolly mirror this defrag. And honestly, dude, I think I will. Or we can do dolly this mirror uh, by its condition. But, um. That. Lantern ice cream is good too. But now we want card draw, so I will buy this compile. I think because we have the uh, we have do we have dark? We don't have dark. Lantern is actually really good here, yeah. Because this will always this energy will always be value, always value. 
Um, I really want more card draw though. Next, I think we'll upgrade cool head. You need to work hard on card draw later, yeah. I think I will buy this uh, compile driver here because we're gonna have energy out the ass. I'll buy both of those. Yeah, I'll check it out. Necronomicon. I mean, we have Thunder. That could be good. But it will make our Thunder twice as good. And the curse. Does this take away the curse? It does! <laughs> okay, oh, that's a pretty... F that's, that's good. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. And now we need this card draw. This is the most important now. We want card draw. And I think now we are strong enough to deal with elites. With, if this will be double played, yes, I think we are. I have two potions. Not uh, the same potion, but two potions. Okay. One, two, three, four. But we want to block more, though. Maybe just play Electro and then uh, Leap Defend. I pop one of these, maybe. It will only upgrade, like, a couple of cards, but... Yeah, we play uh, Leap, 12. Now we pop up uh, Electrodynamics, because that's like, it's like required here. You want more Defend also, and now we have to play this. We don't, uh, Defrag is not that important for now, we just need to block. We do so much fucking damage. We didn't get any block, that's really unfortunate, but... Take 8 then. And now this would have been played twice. If I, if I didn't, if it... Oh, prep. <gasps> uh, Meteor Strike? Dude, the value of this card right now, I'm just saying, the value of this card, the amount of energy we're going to, to make with this card... Um, and the amount of damage it will deal, I think this will be kind of funny. Uh, I think I will actually heal now, because we have two bonfires. I will heal. Because, yeah, my health is kinda shit. Good lord. Um, 30 damage. Channel 6 plus my XD. I will upgrade Chilia. It's nice. Now that we have a bag of prep, I think upgrading Chilia is, is cool. Look at this. Goodbye, Chosen! We're, 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 we're pretty strong at this, at this point in time. I will not add more cards. At the moment. Frozen Eye is definitely something I could look into having. This is a good relic. Um, we could also remove the fan, but... Uh, I'd get it. Oh, easy game. We get Book of Stabbing, but... Two? Gaming? Huh? XQCL. Don't take damage. Forty-eight. Do we have Thunder is a bit until I get?
Yeah, that's pretty good. Easiest book of stabbing of my life, I think. Easiest book of stabbing of my life, actually. Wow. Do we get this for more sustain? Do we need this? With the shop heal? With meal ticket and with pantograph? Do we take self repair? I think it will be overkill. We will heal 25 every boss. Act 3 holy fights are spooky, that's true. Um. Easy to use with energy gain, but it can be a clog. If we can get more card... Uh, it will be good to heal between the bosses of Act 3 also. Remember that, well, a Pantograph is so good because it heals between every boss, because we get triple boss. Awakened would enjoy it. It would be a curse, we know we will get Awakened, and since we know we will get Awakened, I will skip it. Since we know we will get Awakened. Okay, I will save energy then. He is still vulnerable. I think he is dead then. Yeah, goodbye. That is incredibly powerful. Now... I don't have any straight to block cards. I only have this. Um, but... Hmm. Second leap might be, part, be useful, yeah. Because we have only these block cards and that one leap. And that's kind of it. That's kind of all the block we have. I think, yeah. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six. Out of all these cards are blocks. And I, I want more block dance today, so I will take this. Honestly, dude. Now maybe upgrade the uh, biased or leap or go for the ice or electrodynamics. Or turbo for more energy. I mean, do we need this energy gain, right? I, I, it will be nice to have, but I don't feel like I need this to... Go also, this is more damage, which is nice. Since this is like... Normally, you upgrade this, you get 6 damage. I upgrade this, and I get 12 damage. Because this will be played twice, most likely. Most likely, this will be played twice. Uh, so, it's a, it's a... And with pen, also. And with pen. We have pen nib. We have... Uh, Necronomicon, this is very value. Bias is also lets me have it for one more turn and also one more focus, which is very good. Uh, this is only offense. Offensively, we are good. I think we get some defense now. This is offense and defense. This is pure defense. I think uh, maybe focus because focus is not actually doesn't. Uh, uh, if we are debuffed, this will be worse. If we're debuffed, this doesn't matter because it's focus. I want more focus. So I'll hope this. Good to have off the bat. Uh, cool head. Through the thunder, that's unfortunate. Uh, do I just pop this? It could be nice to have in a couple of turns, but... Um Frozen Eye. I have Frozen Eye. I totally forgot about it. I knew... Let's try this again. I have Frozen Eye. I can see that the next card is Thunder and Leap. So right now we don't need those two. So we don't draw. I'll pop this. I'll get the Zap up. And we will do Thunder one of the next morons. Or even Meteor Strike them, for X XD energy. It will actually not kill though. Oh, 
Well, that's all my fucking energy? It didn't make more, shit. Well, it took eight times two, though. Okay. Electron, okay. That's my fucking pendip, dude. More than a moment. But we will never need more energy again. I think I will pop by us now. What in the meter? Oh, whatever. I didn't meter strike because I want my my yeah, blocks now. I'm not dead. Now we heal 25 for the next boss. And for this asshole, I will pop this and this. Please use Lace Rose 9 more. Yeah, I, 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 listen, I never have this fucking, I, this thing. I never have it. That's the issue. Keep forgetting I have it. Uh, I think with the Sunder in this turn next turn we will have Turbo and Cool Hooded and draw Refragment, which is nice. Just deal some damage. But do we, do we have to deal damage? Yeah, just do it. Like this. We're in down a bit. We draw Cool Hooded. Defrag. Pop Turbo because why not? We have perfect block, so we're good. Challenge with lightning, I don't really mind. Are we, are we fully scaled now? I think we are. We have 7 energy, we are pretty much good. Uh, I want to keep these frosts on me just in case and just like hit him. Put vulnerable on and all that. Pen be set up to do the massive damage. Uh, so which will be 48, 72, 72. Very nice. Next turn we draw leap. Next turn will be this. Will it be enough? He's going to buff soon. If we draw Turmo, we get this, and then the next turn we get Plasma and all this shit. Yeah. And then next turn we will have Meteor Strike and go for the Ice Ready. Or, uh, like, he's going to buff. Is this the one where he goes? Because I, I just dropped him above, below, t like, this health. I just dropped him below 220 on this turn. I don't think he will immediately react. After next turn, he buffs. So we want to just draw this out, honestly. Cycle the deck. Pop a turbo. Let's do as much damage now as we can. Fuck it. And now we get smelled. We get mad energy and fuck him up. Hopefully we don't instantly die now. We lose we lose the vulnerable on this turn, which is very nice. Did not get a card draw. If 
I pen him, would it have killed him? I don't know. Either way, I'm not dead, but... We will live, so... We live, though. An X card would be very nice. An X card would be extremely powerful right now. Mid is react too, though. Zero costs. I don't have. I mean, I could zero cost. I could get back my turbo, but. You're one multicast away from greatness? Yeah, true. True. Multicast now would be sick, but uh, Thunder Strike, uh, I don't really... I mean, I can afford to play it for sure, and it is a good... Co like, it, it, it is not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world to play it now, because we generate... We don't generate that much lightning, though, do we? No, mostly plasma and... I want a lot to draw, Frost. Astrolabe could be good? Pandora's box to get this better could also be good. This would be dog shit. Um, Thunderstrike always bad, always. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Double Thunderstrike. Oh, it, it was double with Necro though. It would have been double. But we, the thing is, we don't have. We have Sap, we have Electro. And that is it. That is the only. Oh, Sap, Electro, and Ball Lightning. Those are the only three cards that generate Lightning. Uh, and it's not. Like, we don't... It's not enough. One, two, three, four, five, six transforms. I mean, these are useless now anyways. These are pretty dog. Uh, or we could transform three and upgrade them as well. Like, either we get five transforms or we get three and upgrade them. I think three with upgrades is better. Three upgraded or five. Like, you get, you get, no. Okay, you get three or six. Three or six. Three upgraded or six unupgraded. I think Astro upgrade. Although we don't have to use, we, we can afford to upgrade a lot because we have this upgrade, this upgrade, and maybe a meteor strike, and this, like... There's not that many more I want to upgrade anyways, but, uh... I will take three. We could take a uh, defend... Sap, maybe. Maybe get rid of Sap. Sap is kind of a shit card. Turbo is ass here. Yeah, do we need turbo at all? Turbo is is kind of scuffed because it yeah it generates energy, but it gives us bad worse draw in later turns, which is not good. Because we can use, we can save up some energy, and I mean, it's nice to it's turbo is nice to get my deck up and running. If we get my get deck up and running, yes, because then we can earlier play that uh, uh, meteor. We can earlier play it fucking. Uh, but even then, we do have lantern. I say sap and a strike, maybe. One defend, one sap, and one strike. A sap is a bad card. Now it's a bad card. It doesn't do much. And also maybe two defense. Well, a, a defense is better than a strike. Yeah. Did we just get fucking... Buffer plus, Necroform plus, and Fusion. Okay. Well, we got pretty good We got pretty good scaling right now. We got pretty good scaling right now. And Fusion, which is basically just the better... It, it's pretty good. See the we got Necroform and Buffer. Damn, damn, dude, that's uh, yep, yep. Now we want to do shops. 
I want to do uh, two shops that way. How many rests? Also good rests. Also decent events. Not many encounters. An elite. We get one elite. But maybe I can decide to do these two instead if this shop is unnecessary. Let's go this path here. Mm. Not much block here. But we get the frag and the chill. So that is nice. Put that on him. 444. Four, four. We don't have full block. Necoform. Uh, we will get buffer next by designation. We don't need Neko Farm anyways. Not right now. Get biased for more defense. We lower his. We take buffer. Whenever we draw uh, Electro, we should be soon. Oh, not, yeah, not if you look at my pile. I just draw Electro and win. Or not. Well, I won't take damage here, that's for sure. Need a defense before I hit that guy. I will just wait. No way. Well, I have buffer. I could hit him freely, honestly. Next day. Yeah. It's Ogre. Hologram here is a value card. With all of the energy we have, a hologram is a uh, value. It's giga value. I will take it. We have smile and mask. Is there a shop soon? The shop before the elite. I will get the money. Thank you. Oh, we already get it removed anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Medical kit is a very good card. Now remove this for free. Molten Egg, I don't think. Blood Vial, I don't think. It's kind of overkill with the sustain. Medical Kit is good though. I will take that and I will leave. Uh, this, maybe a po focus, focus Fortune? But we can wait next door. I might want to buy something there. Get the Fusion out. Next we will draw Bias, Hologram. Uh, we will probably take some damage next turn. No, we can actually hologram back a leap, so we should be fine no matter what they do. There. Is it the Pandib? Six energy now. So we do this. We beam cell uh, Moron. Hologram, we get back a uh, leap, maybe. I will not take damage. And we win. Barrage, no. Hologram, no. We already have. Heal XT. Uh, two more? Or a defrag? I think defrag now. Uh, Perceived Insect is okay, but uh, defrag... Uh, like, we don't have any single X cards, so I don't think... And two more at this point isn't that much when we scale this fucking hard. I would just say defrag and then remove a, remove the strike. Another card draw card here. Can I buy all three? Because then we have more. One more upgrade that the uh, cool that would be big. Not going for keys. No, since you're playing A23, I will not do heart. I will not do heart uh, since we are doing this. I think this deck would maybe be able to do it, but... Uh... Yeah. Ah. 
Mayhem would be pog Mayhem would be dog shit. It's a bad card. It's a good card on like maybe if you play uh, <laughs> if you play uh, any other character, but on this it could ruin because you don't always want to. You want to keep uh, your orb orbs in in good places. The cool of the defrag remove is like these are two two cards that I want and also remove that I want. So I think that is maybe good. More card draw. Plus one card. That we will play once and then uh, remove. Do it again. Go after ha for heart after this. No, I, I will not. If I play A twenty, I will always go hard. If I play A twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, I don't want to. I don't want to have to focus on going hard. I will just play normal. Can we still go hard? No, we can't. Hard is impossible now, so I don't have to think about it. Um, strike. See ya. Okay. Ball light and defend. Next we get Electro, so having a ball lightning up would be value. Uh, I can also just hit him. Or hit him for, yeah, spread it out a bit. I would have avoided a wound, but we have medkit, so I'm not like super worried about it. Now maybe... We got a big problem! I'm about to get hit. Well, those two will die, we'll take their 4 9 9. But do I have buffers, so maybe not. If I can block enough. And if I pop an energy potion, I could probably finish off... Uh, I could avoid all damage now if I pop this potion, but do you want to do that now? Or I can get five more. So, nine... I would take no damage if I do this. One buffer. Before. Okay. Cognition. Why not? Order, I guess. Order. 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 Criminal. 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 I I just... There's so many relics! There's so many relics to keep to take into account, dude. There's so many relics, dude. I, I'm going insane. Oh, we didn't draw Electro, that was the problem now. We didn't draw Electro, that's a big problem. This is better, now we keep actually, no. Four. So beam cell. Cool headed. Biased. 
Ja. Yeah. Boom. Turbo. And now we can play... Uh, Shit. And now we can. Oh, okay, fuck it. I'll just pop the fuck. I'll just pop the fucking thing. Jesus Christ, man. Whatever. I'll just pop the fucking thing then. I'll just pop the fucking thing. It, it, the game forced my fucking hand, man. I'll just pop the fucking thing then. I misclicked. Oh, this sucks. These are good cards. Lose beam cell? It's important. Lose leap plus? Important. Defrag plus? Oh, this, this is awful. This is awful. Beam cell is too important. No, I need the vulnerable. I need the vulnerable so much because it just... Defrag also important because it's... Yeah, beam. Uh, leap. I, I, would, I would have to lose leap now, actually. I have to loop, lose leap. Good lord. Then I will upgrade the other leap instead. No, actually, we need the fragment, actually. Now we have less block, actually. More energy? Okay. Uh, am I strong enough for elites with no potions? Do I need healing from shops? No. Do I need a card removal from shops? No. Because we have a little low block now. Yeah, there you go, you'll will it. Nice. Pop chill for this. Neko. We could pop bias now, but I don't have any uh, fucking... yeah. Next turn we get cooler than on Sunder. I don't want to draw Sunder. I want to just keep it like this, but I will not defend enough if we do that. Uh, we can cycle Sunder and... Uh, and Luxor will not do much. I think I will just pop Cognition to survive these early turns, next turn. Uh, but I need more, I need more Frost for that. We want Frost? Now we have to pop it. Now I beam him. Live with that, but I need, I need this Frost to not take a million damage here. Fortunately I can double uh, Cold Head. Defragment. Next, we will have uh, no good attacks. That's amazing. Incredible stuff. I could also hologram back uh, and cycle more. Thank you for raid, man. Appreciate it. Uh, here we want to draw. Uh, we'll, I'll just draw burns here. I'll draw. Cold, I'll go for the ice nice draw, but he's already weakened. No, no, he's not. Uh, I do want to get the frost up in any case, and then just like uh, XD. 
This is like two each, this is like two and frictional frost, so I get this. Now I can play these dog shits. Man, my fucking deck there. Um, compile now will draw a Lecture the Max dual cast. Which I could play to get some more shield. So I pop this, I get energy. I can dual cast this for more energy. Or I can pop fusion for yet. Now we want this. Then we pop fusion. Now we will block. Uh, perfect. Very good. Now we can maybe do some damage. Yes. So here I can do this twice, but if I have Echo Form and uh, Necronomicon, will it hit him three times or or like more? Uh, will I hit him three times if I'm Eater Strike now? Three. So that's 24, 24, 24. Uh, which is like seven or something. And then they will Dream Cell and but he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, there is a good, uh, maybe a good uh, card uh, when you have so much uh, 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 fucking, uh, 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 yeah. The rare case where I will actually pick a Tempest. I've never picked this card in my fucking life. But right now with Electrodynamics, with Electrodynamics in this, Yes. Yes, the rare case where I will actually pick it. Gold. Uh, I will actually just lose gold because we're not going more shops. Thank you. Pair. Cool. I feel confident I'm gonna fuck this lead up. I feel confident I'm gonna fuck this lead up right now. Actually, I do. I have a fair in the bottle also. Elite. We get ahead. Buffer is. Yeah. Um, might as well pop shell, no? We do have an echo form already. Uh, pop chill just to have it out. Pop a defrag. Pop buffer. And then penib no, not now. Next turn we will draw this. It will not do much. This is a bad hand. I wish I could draw more. I will. I might lose a buffer this hand. And getting hologram here is done because then we can't get back meteor strike. Uh, one slow is he that takes ten more damage. He takes thirty percent more damage right now because he plays so many cards. Um, in any case, I want to save energy. Have four. Channel this. Question is, do we pop this 18 now? Next is Pennib. 10. Uh, I think it's more important to just deal vulnerable to him. Pop Turbo to get energy up. Like this. And now we wait. Either case, we have to. As long as we can maintain these two. Uh, well, now we have this. Okay. 10 energy. Good. So that means we can pop a cool hood. Pop Nyko form. We want bias as well, I think. Tempest is there. We have Neko form. Next, we can double defrag or triple thunder, but he will not be. Uh... We could triple thunder this turn actually. We could double thunder this turn, which I think is value. some cards. We want to do this. We want to send her twice. That is good damage. And now uh, maybe get this art out of the deck or do we keep this to frost? No. We do this. Now we have two turns to do whatever the fuck we want. 
Next turn we have Meteor Strike ready, but we, we don't have energy for it. So we can either Meteor Strike twice. Into Tempest. I think now I will just get Defrag. And then we will have energy to use... Uh, we use Defrag and then we use this to get a million of it. And then two after that, we have a million energy and we Tempest. Yeah. Because we don't take damage now, I don't care. Tick tock. My balls. And this will hit a million times. Three times. We get all the energy in the fucking world. Yeah, vulnerable, I guess, for good measure. And we keep this energy. And now it's when the funny start begin. The funny part. We have how much energy? 18? Give me 18 lightning, thank you. Oh, oh goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! See ya! Psst. Done. Instance burner, good. Good. Chaos Plus is funny. I'll give it that, but... Um, having more orb slots now would be funny, honestly. Maybe Skim. Skim is, is extra good because we have Frozen Eye. So we can see what the skin will do. We always know what skin will do. We always know what skin will do. I mean, we have uh, already good card draw, and uh, we kind of want fusion is actually a really good card right now with uh, ice cream. Big fucking surprise, I, I know, but case can get you more plasma and ice. That's true. It's one cost for two orbs. I think it's value to get this. Twenty-six card deck. It's fucking over, boys. Pendib is 8, so we want to, uh, but we want to at least weaken him. Can we get turbo? No. Well, you weak. At the very least. Uh, we want defrag. We want chill. 4, 8, 12, that's perfect. Uh, next turn we will have uh, Neko form. Um... We could also pop this now for... Uh, Pendib. Draw more, we get leap next turn also. Get bias now, but we need we don't need bias now, do we? Cool headed. We will draw cool headed, cool headed, electro. If we draw, yeah, next turn we can draw cool headed, cool headed into electro. So maybe we just save energy. One, two, three, four, five. So we need five energy. Um, yeah, I think we won this either way, honestly. I will just save this energy and uh, XD. Because now we can pop a million things. Hi. Yeah, it's over. Let's try funny chaos. Or maybe just play safe with buffer. Well, we can do both. Right, well, it's over. I mean... Two Tempest? Or Turbo? I think turbo, we, instead of getting one more turbo, we can just upgrade the one that we have. We will upgrade the one turbo that we have over here. Because now I see the value in actually just getting that energy up. Turbo, instead we do this. And we get less curses. So, against this boss, I would say that uh, popping Necoform instantly is a good deal. Next turn we can... Yeah, this is the one power that will make every other card good, so I will... I will do it. Um, that was my fucking pendib, and I had... I didn't have any good next turn anyways. Uh, dual cast is 10 block. Mm. 
We will also have to pop Electro. Eventually. Electro Dynamics. Do we get two do, do we get four focus? That's the question. Do we do that? Is it worth is it worth the amount of shit he gets? Because you also have to pop electro. But then we are more or less good. We don't we can actually draw into turbo next turn and pop a bunch of uh, funny shit. Double leap here would be value for my uh, 9966. He will hit me for a bunch. I will take a lot of damage here. Yeah. Two strength. So we get four strength. He will deal a lot more damage. I hate this fight. This is, I think, honestly the worst fight as the, the defect. I think I will leap, leap chaos. But then uh, I will have uh, four energy next turn. Which is enough to, to cool it, cool it, turbo, and then we have... Uh, well, we get a little bit more energy. We get some frost orbs up. And then we can pop Sunder. And uh, Sunder twice and kill one of these, get the energy back. And uh, from there we are in a better position. But so much of my damage is actually orbs, so popping to popping at least two defrag. Um. Bring back Hell's Kitchen. I'll be strong. I'll be strong. What do we give him here? Here we give him four, eight more damage per defragment. Eight more damage per defragment. Times four. Yeah, so two times four. Two times four. So 16 damage more by this. How much more do we block? We block... I don't know. So I think for now it's it's the only the safe thing. I mean buffer would be stupid because we don't. It's not an investment. We 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 like we block to twenty damage. I think um, twenty damage. Two chaos would be dumb because we don't have the defrag to, to to like this wouldn't matter. This wouldn't do much. It would be when we have defrag up. Yeah, this this uh, chaos is good. But right now chaos doesn't 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 do much. Leap, leap, defrag, chaos, maybe. And then uh, we should be able to regenerate a lot of frost next turn and pop the thunder with turbo. I think that's the best I can do. Leap, leap. Defrag, chaos. We got a plasma, that's very nice. We can do much more next turn then. But now we take a lot of damage. But then again, we have Pantograph for next round, so it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Um... Right, I had fucking whoops. We do want to pop this.
We have energy out the ass. We don't have to worry about that anymore. We kill him. No, they're dead. Don't have to worry about that. Now we can hold the ground back something funny. Um, we don't need uh, much right now, but we can hold back ground back Tempest, for example. We could buy Cognition and... Uh, Next, we get Defrag. Next turn we get this, and they we will. Oh, this is scary! This is scary. I don't know what I will get next turn. Um, Bias cog might be worth, but We get more decks at least. No multi attack, that's good. Cool headed, thank you very much. Thunder next turn will be good. So I will gi I will block more if I yeah I think I think since I have a uh, we could take this damage and then now we do a million damage instead. With Pandy Bendis. But now I am kind of fucked. I don't think I will die this fight, but uh, anyways. We get hologram next turn, meaning we can pop. Um, yeah, meaning we can pop. No, because we want to. Since we get hologram next turn, I will pop a turbo and get more lightning. And now wait. That's how we do! That's very- that's just- that's just too fucking satisfying, man. We took a bit much damage, but, uh, yeah. You still have a fairy. Let me go take a piss. I need to piss really bad. Baby.
Hello. I hate this boss. But at least I can play every card that I want. Because he doesn't care. He doesn't like He doesn't mold about my powers and shit. He he just he just chills the fuck out. Um I think a buffer here will be will do nicely. Uh, but at the same time I kinda wanna play in echo form. 32 damage, man. It's not joke. Hi, human chef. There's no situation here where I will be able to play... Uh, Enough block to block 22. So, in this case, uh, we are kind of forced to pop this and play buffer. <coughs> Going forward, I want to have fusion up. I want to have plasma available. Next card turn, we will have a bunch of buffs, but not much else. We can pop a turbo. We can't throw turbo now. But setting up a fusion so we can start building up energy will be very good. Because uh, we need to, we need to set up energy. We need to set it up so we can play the big cards that that will make me kind of uh, take off. They make me lift off from the ground into space. The <laughs> yeah, we want to have it available. We want to have it available. Uh, next, we will draw beam cell before we draw a big damage. That is sad. We have a meteor strike here now, but we can't really like it's. Yeah. Hello, Fembino. Congrats on your YouTube streams. I don't like them, but Twitch is scuffed. Chang last thing about Prime man. Congrats on the YouTube stream. So the YouTube streams went well, but I'm I'm not play, I'm not streaming YouTube anymore. <laughs> I'm not because uh, Twitch is a better platform for it, I think. For streaming specifically, Twitch uh, is kind of better. So yeah, if I had Turbo this first turn, it would be big because then I could play Neko for me immediately. I mean, playing instant Neko form is is good. But again, I think here uh, we have to set up our energy. Have more energy. Well, we don't need energy next turn. We have turbo next, so we could we could get away with something else here. Um, it's one too far away, though. It's one too far away. If we if we. Uh, um. What do we have now? We have we have this. What we could do also, also, we could capitalize on chaos, right? So if we get two two different urban chaos, then next turn we can have card draw and draw into. Well, it's not good, but we can cycle our deck faster. I mean, there's nothing here I want. The, the spicy cards are already up here. The most spicy cards is Nego Form. A hologram we get at the very end, which is actually a nice position for it. But um, I think I want to speed up this deck right now. I think I think I want to just speed it up. Make the deck cycle faster. Uh, and then we just pop all the defrags and shit next turn. Then I will chill as well. I feel like chill is maybe not... Yeah, we want to get it out, fuck it. Fusion is better energy over time. Turbo is better energy right now. Cool that will draw me a defrag that I don't want right now. I want to play all these defrags next turn actually, so we'll just play the fusion. Now we will call it a day. I decided. Now we'll do no damage because he's a little dog. So we pop uh, defrag. Pop defrag. We leap and we turbo. Okay. And now we can compile driver into Tempest and dual cast, which uh, is potent because then we get more block. So eight. 
Pendib is ready. 30 damage or 24 plus 50%. I'll do this. 10, 32, 8, 32, 8. Or do we, do we, uh... Can I block all of it? No, 12 and 6 is not enough. We, want more, we need more than that. Uh, in that case, in order to avoid this, we don't need to pop biased right now. But uh, I think we can just take the L on the... We want to set up Vulnerable for uh, Sunder either way. So, we, this we want to do. No matter how you look at it, we want to do that. 9, 10, 11, yeah, 10. Marsalism damage. We draw some cards. Next we have Sunder and Weekend, that's nice. Um, I could dual cast this now. Pop Defend, maybe, but this is enough. 6, 19. Six. No, I don't think it's enough. If I buy it, but if I buy a dual cast, yeah, then I can I can keep uh, then I can keep um, keep my buffer. Ten. Ten. No, what is it? 19? 18? 24? 32? We will not have enough. To block this... But wait. 999. 9, 9. Yeah. It will cost me all my energy, but... Then I can full block. No, instead of biased right now, we could pop actually... Uh... So I have two options. Either I give up my energy. So, so I have 9, 9 here. That's 18. 27. 27 plus 5 is coincidentally 32. With this block. I can evoke this by using Tempest. So dual cast defend Tempest is actually... Uh... Um, but he gains stray. He gains strength. He gains strength. So he will actually do t 34. Yeah, okay, you're right. By playing three cards right now, we gave him more strength and he will. So the only way to maintain my buffer now is to use bias. You can't play. I can only play two, yeah. Maybe maybe it's time for bias already. It's a bit early, but uh, with my build, uh, maybe I can do much with it. Because he's vulnerable, and next turn I will double thunder that. 32. 32, 32. Maybe I just pop it then. It's a bit early. Our Tempest will not be that strong if we pop it so early. Uh, but we will still... I feel like eating the first hit of the fight to play Necro from us away. Uh, not necessarily. Maybe, yeah, maybe. If we did that, then we could play double defrags and have much more shield right now. We can always just lose buffer. Yeah, but then what do I do this turn? Question is, can we kill him in very, very few turns with this? It's 400 health, so we will do... Like 60-60, he will be down to like 300, and soon he will buff then. Do I take this hit? I'll do it. And now. Hit him like a motherfucker. And then we wait.
Hologram on last turn. If we drew one more- Ugh, motherfucker. I don't want to have hologram right now. Dead just like that? I mean, we have this, so 30% HP of 81, we can maybe live through this, but then after this, we will draw void and uh, chaos and not good cards. We didn't. Next turn is free too, yeah. But maybe, maybe just uh, using uh, Neko form first turn and uh, chilling because first turn we take some damage. I'm trying it. I'm trying it. I'm trying it. Pop Neko and be done with it. Or thirty-two. That's like almost all my health though, but. It will... But we keep on my buffer. Let's throw the damage now. Now we start defragmenting, I think. Or we can we can either we can either double buffer or we can double defragment. But I feel like over over time the fragment will pay off more. We get much more focus. Like that. That uh, that block was actually necessary as fuck. Uh, and now we have a buffer up, so we should be good. I can double defrag again and get more focus. So now we have eight focus. Um. We will now. Ten. Now he will do give me free turn. Can I get energy back somehow now? He will heal back. I don't think I can stop him from doing that. I can play one more card. Need to play slime. Slime. 
Still have one buffer, but we have fuck ton of energy. What can I draw? Do we just do damage now? So I have Necoform. Um, in this case... Three of this, or two of it with Vulnerable, it is the same damage. So my double I should probably use on either 11-11, either, uh, or since I have all this focus, maybe two of this to get Frost and also get energy back and, and cycle my deck. Now we can Weaken. Beam Cell. Weaken. 64. Do massive damage. We can still leap for 12. Uh, 12, uh, we have enough. Slime, slime. Fuck this. And now... Nine, twelve, eleven, tempest. Nine, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. No, so that doesn't work. We need to hologram twice now. Tempest. I used tempest, motherfucker. It's an exhaust. Well, it is still the best move because I need to either block this. This is plasma, so 12, 3. 1, 2, 3. Uh, I have one more card to use, and uh, I have buffer. So, 1, 1, and I buffer the last. So, for now, I will do damage. He's vulnerable, anyways. I hope this. I still have a uh, buffer. This motherfucker. Now I am uh, epic, so ep anyways. Two of that. I guess I can play slime. Yeah, this is over, we won. But I'm going to be low for the uh, Dekadona. Like 32. Instant turbo I like. Instant turbo into Neko form I like also. Meteor is not... We have Necronomicon, so Meteor would actually be benefiting energy, no? Yes. Neko. Chill. Dual cast it for more energy. Or do we dual cast chill? How much do we have? 12, 12. Next we get Thunder Electro, good. Can triple Thunder if you want, or I can cool it twice. Was it 12 2? Um, I think I need to do bu the buffer here actually. So dual casting a frost wouldn't matter. We dual cast this from an energy. We do that. Pop buffer. And a leap to block one of them. And now we are very strong. I want to double thunder him. I can't block 15, can I? Sixty-four, sixty-four is 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 good. Double cool that it wouldn't do too much, but uh, well, I guess. I guess. Mm. 
I guess that's how you do it. I wanted to, I wanted to like, to, I wanted to necoform the defrag because it's funny. I get to get a bunch of fucking energy, but whatever. Now I'm roasting them so fucking hard I can even dual, dual cast the bias and just make it fucking over. Like actually, I can just do that, and it's over. I have two energy. So maybe I uh, get back um, something simple, maybe a ball lightning. Yeah, so we won this. He's, he's dead anyways. Yeah, goodbye. Good, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, he's, he's giga dead now. Boom, boom. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Triple X3 boss done. We got 823. It was one save scum though. I, I, I'm not very proud of that, but... Uh, I, 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 I... Still, you know. Still, still, still. Still, still, still. Good, good. That was actually, that was a funny deck. Dude, the Omamori, the Im Omamori, uh, fucking, uh, the Omamori has never, ever, ever been that good. It negated Curse of the Bell, it negated Necronomic Curse. It was actually fucking insane how good that Omamori was in this run. Like, it's the best Omamori I've seen in my fucking life. The, the, the actual value. Like, the RNG to get that is like, <laughs> you, you don't see that, you don't see that. You can play this game for a year and not see that. But uh, the Omori today, man, was epic. It was a fun run. It was a, it was a fun run to utilize, like fucking oh, and the ice cream, like <laughs> ice cream and fucking the uh, Necronomicon was hilarious. Shuna, thank you for the five gift subs, man. I allow sales cam. It comes down to the game knowledge. I had frozen ice. I had no excuse. I had no excuse. I should have known. I should have thought and known. Ice cream necro strictly carry that. Yeah, for sure. And that's the th that's why I'm like, that's why I reset so much in the beginning on this uh, ascension because you need next next up. I think we have triple boss two, right? Triple act two boss, and then we have triple act one boss, and that's why I I uh, I reset so much because you need so insanely strong decks and, and relics to do this. If you don't have that, if you don't have like the most perfect fucking deck, this is like actually impossible. You obviously need to play well too, but it, your your deck needs to be super strong. And Relics. Dragoneer, thank you for the sub. Triple like one boss is absurd. Tri yeah, yeah. It's actually absurd. Triple like two boss. Triple like two boss, at least then you have time to get strong for it. Uh, kind of? A little bit? Like double act three. I remember when I was like 820, I was like, Oh, I gotta do two act three bosses? There's no fucking way I'm ever gonna be able to do that. That sounds fucking insane. And here I'm just like, ah, triple like two. Triple like three, triple like two. I'm just like, yeah, it's doable. The triple like one is insane. But yeah, no, actually, actually what carried this, pantograph. The fact that Pantograph heals you into every boss fight, that is the only reason I am alive. Didn't have that, it would be over. Pantograph in Act 1 was huge. 25 health per boss. It made it possible. It made it possible at all. Like, so many things went right. I got uh, Bias Cognition, I got two defrags, I got ice cream, I got all of this garbage, and that's the only reason this happened. Uh, and and uh, th then... Yeah, the Pantograph as well, the Omemori with the tube with the bell and the Necronomicon. So many things needed to go right here and they all did. It they all did. It everything went well. Everything went well. So that's that's how we, that's this happened. Like I see I am not that good at the game. I kinda play this like casually, I would say. Like kind of casually. I don't think too much about my choices. I was like, uh eh. I like to sit and think, th think sometimes, but I'm like, I sometimes like don't do calculation and send this fucking play. Uh, and don't think too far ahead. 
That might be because I have ADD or like ADHD or something. I have, I'm not diagnosed, but I'm just assuming that. I can only assume that when you see me uh, miss like 3 million lethals in one run. This is like how doctors should diagnose like fucking ADHD. It's by just how do they handle a card game. Because if they handle a card game like a fucking idiot like me, then it should be very clear that they have some sort of mental illness. Like the, the actual amount of impatience. It's, it's insane in this uh, stream sometimes. It really, it really is. No, I was actually diagnosed with ADD one time in uh, in like uh, high school. No, not high school, uh, middle school. But that, uh, it's such a vague, it's such a vague diagnosis, man. It's just a vague diagnosis. It's like, oh, uh, oh he doesn't like math? Oh, I guess he's retarded. That's like, okay, yeah. He's not interested in hi learning history? Oh, well, I guess your son is a uh, fucking abomination. Like, I just didn't care about school. I just didn't care about it. Like, I, I just wanted to do other things and didn't pay attention because it was fucking boring. Okay, it doesn't appeal to me. Math does suck. Math is, is fine. I think math is a bit annoying because it's only like you only like repeat. You only repeat and memorize. It's kind of annoying. You repeat, 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 and then eventually you learn it, but it's like... I'm, I am more like problem solving. Problem solving and like doing uh Yeah, like this game, for example. I think, yeah, pro solving problems I think is fun, but uh, doing maths is fucking boring. <laughs> it's just so boring. Math is problem solving? No, it's grinding. Math is just grinding. It's just, it's honestly, when you learn math, it's a grind. Hello, Albino. Is it still good? You I practice a formula in math. You, you, you literally just YouTube. practice a formula. This is supposed to go here. You, it's set in fucking stone exactly what you're supposed to do in math. And you just have to remember how to do it. That is what math is. Problem solving, I think, is more like working with the things you have and, and like solving something with it. Like when making a fucking video. How do you accomplish a certain effect in a video editing software? It's... I think that's... Like, I think that's more problem solving than doing fucking math. Programming is problem solving. That's true. Yes. For sure. But strictly only doing maths? I guess you could say that it is. Doing math? Doing math, I guess you could say it's problem solving. But... Matern math is pattern solving. Yeah, kind of like that. I, I guess I, I when I hear problem solving, I think of something different than uh, maths. Programming is fifty percent pure math, you both so, and then the fifty percent other. That's why it's it's more problem solve-y than math because math is one hundred percent math, and programming is fifty percent problem solving. Do you understand? I'm right. You know I'm right. You know you know I'm right. You know I'm right. <sighs> and math is 100% math. True! Yeah, and that's what I mean. That's what I mean. I think this, this mod is kind of cancer. Uh, doing this, this many bosses is kind of cancer. It's like content. It's something I do purely for content. I don't- I think A20 is a very well-balanced, uh, like, gameplay. This is kind of fucking garbage. Because I think to myself, I could go beat Heart with this deck right now. I could- I could develop this deck to go kill Heart. And then it's like, well, no, I actually have to do something else. Because I got a plan for killing every single boss in the entire fucking game before I do that. Uh, it's- it's kind of an- it's kind of annoying. It's kind of a cancer mod, I have to say. And there is no reward for the extra bosses, true. Yeah, so if you don't get Pantograph, then... Uh, in this mod, I would say Pantograph is like a... Top tier, like the SSS tier relic. I just found out. A25 at Pantograph, it is huge. It's huge. Yeah, so like, you will always get punished for powers at, at Awakened One. You will always get punished for having too many cards at a time keeper. Whereas like in uh, in A20 you can s w at least get away with one of them. 
The worst, I think, is getting Timekeeper and uh, Awakened, because they are just ass. At least, like, uh, Dome Deco, I never worry about. They are just piss easy. No matter what, whatever, no matter what I do, Dome Deco is always the easiest fight. Whereas uh, Timekeeper and uh, Awakened, it always just fucking rail me. But if I do only one of them, I'm fine. How will Iron Chad even compete, compete in 24? I mean, at least he heals 6 after a fight, so he should be fine, right? He should be okay. He gets 6 heal. Um, just play Watch Ring at infinite combos. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I think I'm good. I was considering if I do another run or not. Uh, it's three. Th it's three thirty right now, and I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna go live again at six. So maybe I take a break. Maybe I take a break, and then we come back with something else. Because uh, yeah, I. Uh, I have. I, I yesterday before when I was streaming yesterday for four hours on. I think it was on YouTube. I had a uh, a a kettle on the stove, and uh, I left it on for four hours. And I came back, and I was I was warming some sausages that I had left over from the trip, and they were black. They were black in the kettle, because I was just like, you know, you're not supposed to cook the water, but it's supposed to be hot. So I had it on like low temperature heat. It was only going to be there for like 20 minutes to get warm, and then it was for four hours, and all the water was gone. And there was like sausage, black sausage juice all over the, the kettle. And it's ruined, so what I'm saying is I have to go buy another one. I have to buy a new one, because I ruined my kettle. Have you done the spicy noodle stream yet? No, th that's tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow on Twitch here, we'll do the spicy noodle stream, and that's gonna be uh, yeah at six. I'm gonna be drinking milk and uh, having Swiss sausage. So that yeah. Also, chat. This is like k kind of you know off topic, but the uh, the IRL streaming rig that I was looking at um, is practically impossible to get because of scalpers <laughs> because you need to buy you need to buy a like uh, Nvidia developer kit called like Jetson Nano uh, 2 gigabyte uh, now I can I can pre-order a Jetson Nano 4 gigabyte by December but that needs a very specific almost impossible to find cable to power it whereas the 2 gigabyte needs a USB-C connection um, and, and I've been calling around to, to like stores around Norway, uh, checking secondhand places, and they are either like, they are just non-existent, they don't exist. Justin is too grand right now or something, no. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. So I need the Justin Nano for that setup, but it, the Justin Nano is like hoarded by scalpers and sold for two grand. Uh, which is more than the live you solo at this point, so... I don't know what happened with productions of those, uh, like, things, but it's impossible to get it. Why are you getting an, just a nano? Uh, I just, the just a nano is going to function as the video decoder for my IRL streams. Basically, I stream with the just a nano, uh, with a camera plugged into it, with a video decoder, or, or live cam shit, Elgato dog shit goes in there, plug a modem into it, power it with a power bank, put it in the backpack, and I have a camera on my shoulder, phone as chat, and a microphone on the camera, and I can, I can, I have more like, I have more versatility with what I do with my streams. I have higher quality, better connection, more versatility. I can use chat on my phone while I'm streaming. Uh, stuff like that is really nice to have with idle streaming. But I guess for now we will just stick with uh, with with phone streaming. But then again, the issue with phone streaming is that there are no st good streaming apps for iPhone. I have to use Streamlabs. I mean, you all know, everyone here in chat, you know. That Streamlabs is trash. Because Streamlabs doesn't show my fucking notifications. You know how you don't get bit donos, you don't get sub donos, you don't get anything. Do uh, donations. They don't show up on Streamlabs uh, phone. Why? I have no fucking idea. They work fine as a browser source on my computer. But when I stream on Twitch, they just don't fucking work. Right? Like, it's, it's, it's just frustrating. If the Streamlabs app actually showed uh, alerts... I would be totally fine with using that shit. But... It just don't. It just don't. And it's like, well, okay, you yeah, just get an Android. Okay, well, the, the problem with Androids is that they're slow as shit. They have bad camera. They have, uh... They're fucking Androids. 
I don't like them. They're bad. Like, <laughs> they're just bad. The, the, the quality that I've been getting on my iPhone on my camera and, and like the consistency of the stream has been like through the fucking roof compared to my Android. Because I had an Android before and it was like, yeah, let's get kid kind of stream. And then I, I used an iPhone and the, the quality went fuck. Everyone was like, oh, dude, it's just the same. Well, but no, god damn, I had no idea this guy could actually pull off a decent quality IRL stream. And then it's like, well, now my notifications don't work. Uh... And there is no Stream Elements app. Stream Elements is a f is fine for alerts and it's very good. I've been using Stream Elements for like uh, two weeks now. Very happy with how the customizable it is and all that shit. But for some reason, they don't have an iOS app. Why? Half the fucking globe has iOS. I would like to stream on your software and use your alert system, but they just don't have the fucking app. Why not? Why not? I had the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. That was not to be good enough to stream. It was bad. It doesn't have it it it, it disconnected all the time. It had bad frame rate, bad bit rate. No ass, no pussy. And no bitches. It was dog shit. I feel like that'd be Apple fucking up. I don't know, but why okay, so if it's Apple fucking up then why is Streamlabs able to have it on iOS, and not Stream Elements? They are both just services for streaming, like... People use Jetson Nano to build robots and stuff, especially small things, that's why it's rare. Albion, you can find Jetson TX2, expense, Jetson Xavier. It does the same thing, slightly larger and more expensive, but should be more available. Yeah, but the, uh... Unfortunately, the, uh... Um, image that we're gonna be flashing on the uh, Jetson is only usable on the Jetson. So until they make it work on another device, uh, it's not really, yeah, gonna work out. Because the Jetson was only something suggested because uh, there was a uh, streamer called... Uh, oh, what the fuck was his name again? Um, Rational IRL. He made a, 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 a like software for using the Jetson. Greetings, thank you, soul. Is image open source? I think so, I'm not sure though. I haven't looked into it. All I knew, all I looked up was that... Well, you could use the uh, Jetson to, to do all this shit, but... Uh, it's just not available for anything right now. It's just, it's just too... Scarce. Like the, the fucking annoying thing about IRL streaming, the, the fucking headache of it is that, well, you don't have an iOS app. Every piece of fucking hardware you could ever need is never available. There was a video encoder I could use that was not the Jetson. It was unavailable. There was a secondary video encoder I could use instead of the Jetson. It was unavailable. Not You couldn't buy it. Not in production anymore. It's just gone. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, Bellabox. Yeah, Bellabox is what I want to use. And, uh, the, 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 yeah, it's just, it's just convenient because then you can set the... Um, then you can send stream to your OBS at your computer and stream it from there. Meaning that whenever I lose connection on my phone, the stream will stay up and it will like keep streaming and maybe it will detect that I go offline and switch to a scene where it plays like popular clips. It will just keep the stream more uh, available. And if I lose connection on my phone for a split second, I can just like restart the phone. The stream keeps going. It's, it's all good. Uh, whereas if I lose connection now, the entire stream just dead. Hell by now. Got time left for a link, but check out Prism for iOS. It supports stream elements over overlays. Yeah, so I tried Prism on my phone. Uh, it doesn't allow 60 FPS streaming. Immediately I noticed that there's no options for 60 FPS. My phone does 60 FPS, but Prism doesn't take 60 FPS. I don't know why. I could stream in 30 and use stream elements. Um. And maybe streaming 30 FPS is fine, but I think having 60 is smooth though. You know what? For the for the let's 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 do this chat. For the for the noodle stream tomorrow, I will try out Prism. In fact, I'll do a Prism test stream today. I'll go on my secondary Twitch account, Scott the Jägern, and I'll stream from Prism, and with stream elements uh, overlays, and then we can run some tests. 
Third FPS for Elder Stream is okay, I think. Yeah, probably. Probably. But uh, stream label is 60, and that's nice. I can try Prism. I'll, I'll, I'll go offline now, and I'll go get the cattle and shit, and then I can try uh, Prism on my, sec on my second uh, Twitch account, and we'll see how it works. How do you spell that? I can, I can link you my secondary account. Hold up. Uh, this is the account that I'll be streaming to when I go live. I'll, just just to test the stream to see if it's working. So if you want to like stick around and like check it, then uh, yeah, just follow that account. And that's where I'll be doing. That's where I test streams. If you want to test something, I test it there. Anyways, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go to the store, buy the kettle, uh, do an IRL test stream. If it works on Prism, fine. I will maybe do it more there. Actually, you know what? I'll ask uh, I'll ask uh, a friend if you want to go on a mountain hike. I kind of want to go on a mountain hike today. We can speak an oil stream and a uh, mountain hike from uh, Prism. Twitch says this stream was being recommended to one thou- Okay, <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, let, let's do that. Let's do a test stream. Let's do a test stream with that. And see how it works. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Maybe maybe 30 frames is fine. Is Bellbox uses an event encoder? I don't know. I don't know the specifics. I checked out the code for Bellabox Bellacoder, and it seems like you can install it on Jetson, Xavier, and Jetson TX2 as well. Probably uh, Intel and UC will work too. Uh, if you could, if you could confirm that, then that would be a viable solution. Actually, I'm gonna go ask around. I'm, you know what? They have a Discord that I can ask around in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll do some more research. But for today, we'll test out uh, Prism. Anyways. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the donos. I'll see you later today. And uh, before that, I'm going to do an IRL test stream. Sounds good? Sounds good. Good night. Take care. Wake up. Love you. I'll have a good one. Also, there's a gamble going on. What the fuck is that about? Wait, there a gamble. Beat deck 3, yes. Oh, it's already done. Okay, cool. Yeah, see you in in like a, a little, a very little bit, on the other channel. Bye bye.